This is my beautiful wife, Kim. She's going to be helping us with this gyroscope experiment. What we're doing, she's got her gyroscope spinning on aluminum bar stock here. And it's held in position by some weights. And my peek your head around, honey, my beautiful wife, Kim, back there is going to help us. She'll move the weights out of the way so this will fall when we, uh, when we want it to. So we'll give her the word here in just a minute. And, uh, Okay, honey, go ahead and let it drop. Okay. This gyroscope direction of rotation is counterclockwise and uh, going this way. And that's why it precesses counterclockwise. That's the way I've done most of my gyroscope experiments. Okay, our gyroscope is precessing. Watch what happens when we stop the precession. Let's try it again. Let me go around another time. Let's try it again. Basically, if it can't recess, it's just going to fall to the ground. That pretty well shows. I had this little aluminum stop here so that when the gyroscope, as it's falling and precessing, it hits a stop and we'll see what happens. Okay, it's precessing and falling. Watch what, there it goes. Hit the aluminum stop, stop precessing. We'll give it a little more help. Precessing, hits the stop. When it stops falling, it stops precessing. This is our precessing gyroscope in free fall on a side view. You would think that the angular momentum it had while precessing would continue in free fall, but it appears to just simply stop in its tracks and just fall straight down as soon as the base is removed. This is a rotating gyroscope placed on its side. Obviously it's not precessing. We just wanted to see what would happen if you removed the base under this and see if it would move around in the air or what it would do. It basically does nothing. It just falls straight down. This is a rotating gyroscope Placed upside down, again, we're just going to see what it does when the base is removed. You can see, it just falls straight down. This is a non-rotating gyroscope placed on its side. We want to see what it would do. It just falls straight down. It seems to be a little more unstable in the air. This is a precessing gyroscope looking straight down from the top. Watch what happens when the base is pulled out from under it. Basically stops rotating around, just falls straight down. Apparently no angular momentum causing it to rotate. I believe this was our spinning gyroscope on its side looking straight down. It could have been not spinning. Either way, they pretty much do the same thing, just fall straight down. I didn't have a good way to simulate a precessing gyroscope in a low gravity situation while still applying torque to a base on its spinning axis. But I do have an idea for uh, simulating higher gravity by being able to press down on the precessing gyroscope in a way that uh, simulates it weighing more. So we'll see what happens there. I think it's going to make it speed up and we'll take a look. Thank you. Okay, let's put the cup on it. It looks like it speeds up to me. Yep, push down on it, precession speeds up. So simulating probably a higher gravity situation would indicate that higher gravity would make precession faster. We're going to repeat the cup experiment, but do it in slow motion. See what that looks like. You'll notice that as I push down on the gyroscope, it not only goes down, but it does precess faster. So I think this pretty well, I think, confirms that based on what I've seen. 
Very interesting. In this video, we got to see what happens when a precessing gyroscope falls in a free fall situation, approximating no gravity. There is wind resistance, aerodynamic effects, and we couldn't do anything about that. We also got to see what happens when you prevent a precessing gyroscope from precessing and how it just falls, and when we stop a precessing gyroscope from falling, how it stops precessing. Hope you enjoyed this. If so, please like us, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Anisotropic Plus, and check out our other videos. Thank you.